guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video as you guys can see by all these products that I have right here I'm gonna be doing an updated skincare routine don't get overwhelmed I know that it seems like a lot of products but trust me I do not use this many products for my everyday makeup um, kind of skincare routine um, but yeah if you guys want to see what products I do use or products um, have worked for my skin type then just feel free and keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, I went ahead and I removed my eyelashes already. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my contacts out. If you wear contacts, you always wanna make sure that you take your contacts out before taking off your makeup. So I have my contacts right here. I'm gonna go ahead and like I did mention in the beginning, it does seem like a lot of products here, but I'll go ahead and um, explain why I have so many. So when I had first started like my skincare routine, I was using this one. This is the Nature by Nature Fresh Start Foaming Cleanser. It removes dirt, oil, and shine. So um, as you guys can hear, it's pretty much all empty. So when I, um, before I ran out of this one, what I would do was I would pretty much just apply this either with my hands or I would apply it on my spin brush. Um, but that's why I have this one here to show you guys because this is the one that I used to use. So this is one that's already pretty much empty, so this can go in the trash. Okay, so the first thing that I do when I have makeup like eyeshadow on, I go in with this one. And this is the Lancome, I believe it's the Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. And let me tell you guys, this product is amazing. Like, it takes your makeup off super, super fast. And a little goes a long way. You really don't need much. I have a sad story. I, this was actually filled up. But one day I was using it and I had it on my counter. And I tipped it over and it fell all over the floor. So this is why I only have a little bit. But on, I saved this just for this video. So again, this is the Lancome um, Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you how good this product works. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I get a little cotton round thing right here. So I open this up. And I kind of just... So that was only two times. And look how good this removes my makeup. Like, see? It's pretty much all gone. Can you guys see that? Like, it is pretty much all gone. And there I go spilling it again. So obviously, I just used all what was left. But, as you guys can see, it is a great, great product. It removed everything super, super fast without any trouble. Okay, another thing that wasn't on here is my Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Talus. It looks like this. So this is the one that I normally use. If it, I don't use this one, I use the Kirkland ones by, um, they're from Target. I'm sorry, from Costco. They're the ones that my mom gets for me all the time. So either Neutrogena or Kirkland are really good brands. So what I do is I go ahead and I grab this and I pretty much just take off my face makeup with this. Again, you don't want to kind of go too rough on your skin just because it can, you know, cause damage to your skin, wrinkles, and stuff that we don't need. So I don't know if you guys know this, but as much as you think that you take your makeup off with these makeup wipes, you don't. Because um, I can guarantee you if you were to remove your makeup with makeup wipes and then go in with like a spin brush or whatever the case may be, guarantee that there's still going to be makeup on that spin brush. Um, but the reason why I like going in with my makeup wipe is so that I can get most of the makeup off. So the next product that I use is this one, Still by Nature by Nature, but this one is a different system. This one is the Acne Edit Cleanser, um, and I use this one pretty much for the same thing as a cleanser. I use it to remove my makeup, so I'll go ahead and show you guys how I use this one. And the reason why I like this one is because it helps with acne, so it's not just like a cleanser that's going to remove the makeup. It's going to help with acne as well. So now moving on to the next product. I'm going to go ahead and talk about this. So this is my Vanity Planet Spin Brush. It looks like this. I had to get it pink. So what I do with this is it comes with, I'm not sure, I think it depends on which one you get, but the one that I got, it came with four different kind of brushes. It came with an everyday makeup kind of cleanser brush. Then it came with an exfoliating one. It came with a bigger one, like for um, body, it came like, it was like probably like that big. And then it came with another one. But for today's video, I'm just going to go in with the everyday one. So this is the everyday one. It is really small, as you guys can see. 
So this is the everyday one. So the bristles are a little bit smoother than the than the exfoliating ones. I'm not sure if you guys can see. So you guys can see this one looks a little bit more rough. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get a little bit of water and just wet my face just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my acne cleanser. I'm almost out of this one too. Okay. So and then I kind of just start by spreading it all over my face and then I go ahead and I turn it on. And then you just start to spin. Again with this, you don't want to like go in and you don't want to do it too, too rough on the skin just because pretty much since it spins already, it's kind of doing the work for you. So I'm gonna add a little bit more just so it's a little bit more soapy and foamy. And I like this just because it does really help get rid of like any blackheads, any um, dirt, any oils, any makeup left that you have on your skin and it really helps get down into it. Okay, so remember when I said, okay, so these makeup wipes, that's why I kind of like these Neutrogena ones because like I said, the makeup wipes don't always fully remove some of the makeup, but as you guys can see, there's a little bit of makeup residue on there. Not too, too bad, but I really didn't have that much makeup on today, but normally this is like kind of filled with foundation. Obviously, you guys can see from how it first looked, there is some color on it. So then what I do is I kind of just detach the brush. I clean the brush first, and then I get warm water, and then I just start to rinse my face. With doing just this step, my skin already feels clean, it feels fresh, but obviously you have to mask, you have to tone, you have to do all that. So now that we're going ahead and we're done with this one. So next is masking. I have three masks right here that I, that I normally use. The first one is this one. This is the Muddy Body Detox Mask. I'm pretty sure you guys all know what this one is. Um, it's obviously been around for quite some time. And I've seen a lot of people use this one, as you guys can see, I am almost out. This one, you just add water to it to go ahead and activate it. And then once, you'll know when it's dry because it'll start to like change a different color. But I really like this one just to kind of refresh my face, to detox my face. Um, and I like it because it has coconut um, in it and it it's charcoal, so charcoal is really good too. So this is the first mask that I use sometimes. The next one is this, I don't even know how to say this, this word right here, that's the... The brand of it right there. I'm not sure how to say it, but this also is a makeup um, melter So actually I should have talked about this before so what I do sometimes too Is if I don't go in with the spin brush, I'll actually go in with this one since it is a makeup melter um, I'll go in with this one or instead of sometimes the acne edit cleanser I'll just replace it with this one because it'll do this pretty much the same thing It's gonna eliminate and it's gonna take off all that makeup that I did not grab with the makeup wipe So again, this is a charcoal makeup melter so then the next mask that I have is this one. This is this um, fresh rose face mask and it's infused with rose petals. It hydrates and it tones. Um, I'll go ahead and open this one so you guys can see how it looks inside. When I used this one, I, when I opened it, I was like, oh my God, it looks so weird. But actually, honestly, this one's more like, leaves my face a little bit to dry after I use it. Um, but honestly, it's not that bad. But this is what this one looks like. So again, since I pretty much these are the two masks that I have at the moment right now. Again, I don't use these all day. I'm sorry, I don't use these every day. I mainly use them about once a week, twice a week. Um, but I kind of either just switch off or I use this one like one week and then I'll use this one another week. But for today, I'll go ahead and use this one. Okay, so I don't have a cup, but I'm just going to grab a little Tupperware looking thing that I have. And I'm not going to obviously apply a lot. I'm gonna apply maybe like that much. I'm not sure if you guys can see that right there. And then I'm gonna open the water a little bit. And I'm gonna get like droplets first. Just because if you do add a, too much water, it does get like watery. So then I'm just gonna mix it in. The consistency that you want is kind of thick, kind of like pancake batter kind of. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and So I did apply a little bit more water than I normally do, but normally I apply it with like a thicker paste. So as you guys can see, this it looks like a darker green right now. 
And once I come back and once it's all dry, you guys are going to see that it's going to change colors. And what I like about it, actually I'm going to apply a little bit more to this area. Just so I can show you guys how it looks once it's all dry. Because you can honestly see all like the little imperfections. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit and let it dry. And then I'll come back and show you guys how it looks. Okay, so I'm so stupid and I totally forgot that I pressed record on my camera. And I didn't. So I went ahead and I washed out my face already. But what I wanted to show you guys was around this area right here. If you guys have used it before, you guys probably already know what I'm talking about. But around this area right here, when the mask is all dried, it kind of has like little, little dots and little circles. Kind of like I guess where my most problematic areas are, which is like my pores. So you, you guys were able to see like... Um, little like dots and stuff all around this area right here but i already went ahead and i washed it out i'm probably not going to use this mask just to kind of save time so the next thing that i do want to apply is this is the nature by nature acne edit toner i had never used toners before i didn't know what toners were until i started like getting more into the skincare i realized it's kind of just to rebalance um, your ph from all the kind of cleansers and stuff that you used prior to that so again, I kind of just get another cotton round. Honestly, with this step, I don't know when you're supposed to do it, but I kind of just do it after I cleanse and all that. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply it to my face. So then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this Lancome Illuminated and Anti-Fatigue Cooling Eye Gel. It's a little thing like this. If you guys watch my beauty favorites that I've been loving, I did mention this one. If you guys did, I'll go ahead and leave that link down below. So pretty much what I do is I kind of just rub it into my fingers and I just start to massage that underneath my eyes and on top of the eyes as well. I'm kind of using circular motions. And then once I feel like all that product is nice and spread out, I just go ahead and I tap that. So then the next thing that I'm gonna go ahead and use is I'm gonna use this water and face cream. Again, I mentioned this one in my beauty favorites. I'm not going to use too much of this one just because I'm going to use other products. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this one. And I like this one just because I can honestly just use this. I've used it as a moisturizer before. And it kind of just leaves my face feeling really fresh, really clean. And after a while, I feel like once it's kind of dried, it does give it like that tacky, that tackiness to it. But, so then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this Lancome Overnight Recovery Sleeping Mask. This is the one that I mentioned that when I use it, once I like kind of go ahead and I lather it into my hands, it kind of turns like to water. It kind of just melts away. Honestly, using these products, when, my, when I wake up in the morning, my skin is super, super nice and hydrated. And it feels really, really good. Again, I have normal skin. I don't really have dry skin. I don't really have oily skin. So these are the products that have worked for me. So two more products left. This one is the Nature by Nature Acne Edit Overnight Treatment. Again, this is for the acne system. Um, and I like this one because this is like an overnight mask that you can go ahead and use. So I just take that again. Just gonna massage it into the face. Okay, so those are pretty much all the products that I'm gonna go ahead and use. But the last and final one that I use, I had never used anything like this. And this is the Nature by Nature Acne Edit Spot Treatment. So what it is, is pretty much you can tell by the name of it. It's like a spot treatment for acne. So I honestly get about that much. I really don't get too much. And then I kind of just put it onto my other finger. And wherever I start to see where I have breakouts, I kind of apply it. And the reason why I like this one is because I know that I've used like, I don't know if you guys ever did that, but... They say like toothpaste helped a lot too because it would like dry them down. But and then like when I would be laying down in bed, they would get all over. But what I like about this one is um, that it really like sets and it really sticks to the area where I applied it. Because like within ten minutes and fifteen minutes, they'll pretty much be all the way dry. So that was pretty much my updated skincare routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed. These are the products that, again, have been working for my skin type. By all means, I'm not telling you guys, you guys have to go out and buy these. But the one product that I do recommend um, is I would definitely check out the Nature by Nature. This video is not sponsored. But I would definitely check out check out the Nature by Nature um, systems because they do have, I want to say they added new ones. But honestly, they work really, really good. If you guys follow any beauty gurus, you guys 
probably, you know, that they use them and they have codes where you can pay like $10 for shipping or $5 for shipping, I'm not sure. But that's pretty much all I have to say and that was my updated skincare routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys on the next one.